Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Youngs. Today is Friday, and that means Zer is here, not in the tower, but in the reef. So let's go ahead, check him out. What did he bring us last week? Pretty sure he brought us the Mita Multi Tool. What can he possibly bring us this week? Let's find out. All right, so he brought us the super good advice. We will eventually get into that. Let's start here with the Titan Exotic Gauntlets, the Ruin Wings. This comes with Intellect and Strength. And the main perk here, heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. So this is pretty much a PvE exotic armor right here. This is this used to be my go-to back in the day. When did this come out? Crota, I think. And this was my go-to exotic armor back then for year one when this first came out for PvE. Right now, in year two, I have not used this. I may have used it like one time, so yeah, it's... I don't know, I just feel like it's not really relevant anymore. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. I could be wrong, though. It could it could totally make a huge difference, but I just don't know of it because I don't rock these anymore. Uh, we also have rocket reload speed on this and melee attack speed increase. So, ah, uh, if you're big into PvE activities where you're tight, just go ahead and pick this up. Uh, I think it is worth the 13 strange coins if you don't have any other exotic armor yet for your titan and you love pve stuff moving on to young ahamkara's spine this is the exotic gauntlets for the hunter we have intellect and discipline here and the main perk increased trip mine grenade duration and you gain an additional trip mine grenade charge so this is great for gunslingers pve or pvp so if you rock a gunslinger on your hunter just go ahead and pick these up these are totally worth it no matter what activity you're doing and your grenade will last from it, it normally lasts 10 seconds and with these gauntlets on it'll last 30 seconds on a wall or wherever you place your trip mine so totally worth it and you get that second charge moving on to light beyond nemesis all right so this is an exotic helmet for the warlock we have intellect and strength here and the main perk supers generate an extra orb and re revive and be revived faster so this is basically my go-to trials of osiris warlock exotic armor and a lot of people rock this for trials this is you know this is the crest of alpha lupi for the warlock basically and totally worth the 13 strange coins if you love trials of osiris go ahead pick this up it's definitely worth it and even if you were like kind of into nightfalls and stuff like that this the, you know this can be this can come in handy that's what i'm trying to say so it's worth the 13 strange coins. Go ahead, pick this up, guys, if you run a warlock in general. <laughs> Moving on to super good advice. This will cost you 17 strange coins. Let's let's check this out real quick. So we have crowd control on this beast, single point sling, hand loaded, flared magwell, and the main perk, super good advice. Missed shots may be returned to the mag. Landed shots may be replaced in the mag from your reserves all right so this thing can shoot almost forever not really forever but this thing could just keep shooting pretty much without really having to worry about reloading so it's kind of fun to use honestly i wouldn't say it's like the greatest exotic weapon in the game certainly not the greatest exotic weapon or exotic heavy weapon i would say this is more of a fun to use weapon really than anything it can come in handy in pve maybe for some dps but yeah that's really it um is it worth is it worth the thir the 17 strange coins that's really up to you guys uh i'm not it's really not top tier you probably if you're looking for you know a top tier exotic uh, weapon you're probably going to want to look for a primary or a special weapon first and yeah so i don't know it, it's really up to you though just pick it up if you want but if you if you're running low on strange coins and you're kind of iffy about it just pass on it Moving on to Legacy Ingrams, we have the Gauntlet Ingrams. This will cost you 29 strange coins, so very, very expensive. And this is for year one stuff only. So do not purchase this if you're looking for year two stuff. I repeat, do not purchase if you're looking for year two stuff. You will regret it. And you will learn it the hard way like I did when these first came out. I bought like three of these and I totally regretted it immediately once i found out they're year one this is for people that are late into the game that simply want to collect the year one stuff moving on to 
the glass needles. This will cost you th three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. This will change and alter your, like your perks and stuff on your exotic armor. So let's say you want sniper ammo, but you have sidearm. Keep rolling glass needles on that exotic armor till you have your sniper ammo. And let's say you want discipline, but you have strength. Keep rolling it till you have that perfect roll. Three of coins. All right, let's go ahead and do this once again. So purchase my three coins. We're going to go ahead and pop one of these. And right there and now you see exotic particles pops up right here grants a chance to receive an exotic engram on the next ultra kill or crucible match completion all right so yeah that's win or lose for pvp and usually i'll pop this every other pvp match or right before the boss in the strike and that is how i farm my exotic engrams now of course it's not going to drop every time you have a chance for that exotic engram all right, moving on to heavy ammo synths. This will cost you one strange coin for three heavy ammo synths. This is actually not a bad deal considering Banshee 44 in the tower will charge you 950 glimmer for one. And that is very, very expensive and adds up very, very quickly if you buy a lot. So I would go ahead and stock up from Xur on these if you haven't already. If you're big into PvE activities like Nightfalls and Raids, these will definitely come in handy. Moving on to our vehicle upgrades, we have the Stealth Drive and the Plasma Drive. This will change a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary sparrow. And I really, really don't see these very often. This will also change the contrail color. So we have blue here and like a pinkish here. So these are very unique. I, like I just said, I don't really see these too often. So if you want to be unique and different, go ahead, purchase one of these and infuse it with your blue sparrow. Moving on to the mode of light exchange. This will cost you two strange coins for one mode of light. So at this point in the game, I personally stay away from this because I have a ton of motes on me and I, you know, I have a good amount of strange coins on me as well, but not nearly as I do motes. So I don't, I personally don't have a need for this, but if you are in a dire need for motes of light and you know, if you're desperate for them and you have a bunch of strange coins lying around, I guess you could go ahead and do this, but I just stay away from this. Anyway, that is Zer for this week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and sub for the support. I'd highly appreciate it.